Hello everyone and welcome to another PC build video. Today we will be wiring and installing the EVGA 850W T2 Titanium Power Supply. Here we have all the wires included with the PSU. Within the set is one power cord cable, five velcro strips for cable management, one four pin Molex cable for your fans, four six plus two pin PCIe VGA cables, one 24 pin ATX motherboard cable, two 4 plus 4 pin EBS or ATX 12 volt CPU cables, two 3 pin SATA cables and one 4 pin SATA cable, one Molex to FDD adapter, the EVGA PSU 24 pin tester, and four mounting screws. Now we are going to be unboxing the PSU. Here is the manual which is written in several different languages for different kinds of people to easily understand. Unlatch the velcro strap to open the bag and take the unit out. Once that's done, you can now move on to wiring everything up. Now we are going to be wiring the motherboard cable to the PSU. First we will be placing the tester on the 24 pin end of the cable. This is so that we can check if the power supply works and if electricity flows through it. This will be signified by a light on the tester that will turn on once the PSU is on. We are going to be plugging the other cables into the PSU. The place where you must plug them in is signified by a little white arrow which we have stuck onto the PSU. You will know that the cables have been properly installed when you hear a snap. Now we are going to be plugging in the power cable. Once you have plugged in the power cable, you can switch on the PSU by clicking the on button. You can tell that it's working by the fan. Now we are going to be installing the CPU cable. We have labeled out where to install it with the white arrow. We will be using the 8 pin side to connect the CPU cable to the PSU. Simply align the cable with the slot and push in until you hear a snap. Now we are going to be installing the VGA cable. We have labeled where we have to install it using an arrow. Similar to the CPU cable, this one comes with an 8 pin side and a 6 plus 2 pin side. We are going to be connecting it with the 8 pin side. Simply push in until you hear a snap. Now we are going to be installing the SATA 3 cable. We have shown where it has to go based on this white arrow. We are going to be installing the 6 pin side into the PSU. Simply push in until you hear a snap. Now we are going to be installing the PSU into the computer. Take off the back panel by unscrewing the thumb screws. Open the side panel and then thread all the wires through the box and out of the panel. Once you have done this, you can properly fit the power supply unit into the PC case. Here's what the installed PSU unit looks like. Thank you for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed, and goodbye!